The natural world is full of wonders in all corners of the earth. But for every panda and koala, there's another creature that evokes entirely different emotions. You won't believe some of the things that live in the world. So get ready to be creeped out as we take a look at 15 weird animals that will give you chills. <sighs> Number 15. Cereal Leaf Beetle Cereal leaf beetles are native to Europe and Asia, but in recent years they have been found throughout the rest of the world too. They're a serious problem for farmers because if they begin to breed on their crops, entire fields can be decimated within a matter of days. These are one of the most costly species in the world to food production, and are only outdone by plagues of locusts. They grow to only around a fifth of an inch long, but the risk is when they're in their larval stage. They don't actually eat all the vegetation, but the external layers of leaves, which prevents the plants from properly photosynthesizing. They are one of the reasons why crops are sprayed with various chemicals, and why scientists try to genetically modify their makeup to prevent the cereal leaf beetles from being interested in the altered plants. But currently, one of the best means of control is a biological solution. Some species of nematodes toad attack the adults while they're keeping warm in the soil over the winter. So when they emerge during warmer weather, they're unable to reproduce and create the devastating larvae. Before we go on, we have a cool challenge for y'all that will take five seconds to complete. Let's make a deal. Just leave a like on this video, smash that subscribe button, and hit the notification bell and you will get 10 years of amazing luck and fortune. Try it, it actually works. Number 14. Zombie Snail Snails are a common sight in fields and gardens around the world, and there's nothing too unusual about them. That is, unless they've been infected by a particular type of parasitic worm that makes them behave rather peculiarly. The flatworm, called the green-banded brood sac, target amber snails, and once they've made their way inside their bodies, they are able to take control of their eye stalks. This allows them to create a dazzling disco display of color, which has one specific purpose, to mimic the appearance of a caterpillar and to attract birds. This may seem like a dangerous game, and it certainly is for the zombie snails, but for the worms, it's all a necessary part of their life cycle. They only reproduce inside the stomachs of birds, before their eggs are excreted and the whole process begins again. Luckily for the snails, the worms only develop within their eye stalks, which are also the only parts that the birds attack and eat. So once the worms are gone, they are able to regenerate the parts of their body they've lost and continue on, until another worm finds them. Number 13. Lamprey Lampreys are a type of jawless fish that can be found in oceans and river systems across the world. There are currently 38 known species of them, some of which are carnivorous, and others that feed on plant matter. It's the ones that eat other animals that are particularly creepy though, as they arguably have the most frightening teeth of any animal on the planet. Their mouths have rows upon rows of sharp teeth, and are perfectly designed to help them suck the blood from their prey. They grab onto flesh and twist around to open up a circular wound that they can then feed on. They are a serious pest in some places where fish stocks can fall victim to large colonies of them. Aquatic animals are often found dead with the telltale circular marking all over their bodies, and for a long time before lampreys were known about, people thought these were victims of attacks by much larger animals like a giant squid. This is definitely not something you'd want to be sharing a swim in a lake with. But surprisingly, they're popular in the cuisine of a number of cultures. Could you ever imagine yourself eating one of these? Number 12. Wolffish The wolffish is a peculiar species of fish that lives on the seabeds of both the Atlantic and Pacific Oceans. While they're present in tropical waters, they live at such depths that the environment surrounding them is extremely cold. So to combat this, they actually produce their own antifreeze. The largest ever found was 5 feet long, but it's their teeth that are their most striking feature. Both upper and lower jaws have between 4 and 6 conical fangs, and a set of crushing teeth behind them. This means they can easily grab onto their prey, such as mollusks and urchins, tear pieces of flesh from them, and grind their food before swallowing it. If they were agitated enough, they could easily bite through a diver's glove and hand. 
so they need to be treated very carefully if you happen to come across one. Wolf fish tend to set up home in rocky outcrops and rarely travel very far from them. Instead, they clear the surrounding area of any other stationary species, and this is very important for the health of the ocean floor. Despite their appearance and danger, it's always a good sign if wolf fish populations are thriving, because it shows that the seabed is a healthy environment, and also means that they're able to control the numbers of urchins that are a much more dangerous threat. Number 11. Hagfish Hagfish are a very strange, jawless species of fish that are the only known animals to have a skull but no spine. They are found in waters around the world and have hardly changed since their first ancestors emerged around 300 million years ago. They typically grow to up to 20 inches long, but the largest ever found measured an astonishing 4 feet and 2 inches. They can be any of a range of colors, from grey to pink, and feed on worms and dead or nearly dead animals that have fallen to the seabed. Possibly the most disgusting thing about the hagfish is the slime they produce. Far from the fun kind that you see on Nickelodeon. This slime is released along their entire bodies and is milky and fibrous. Although it's gross, this is an indigenous defense mechanism because it makes it virtually impossible to catch them and hold on to them. They make so much that just holding one by its tail can produce as much as 5 gallons of the stuff. And they can even tie themselves into knots to scrape even more into the water that surrounds them. Number 10. Vampire Fish Payara The vampire fish, or payara to call it by its proper name, is a species of tetra that's native to the waterways of the Amazon basin. They are silvery with two black spots, and their color gets darker towards their tails. Usually growing to a foot long, but twice that under certain circumstances, the thing that makes them stand out are their large fangs that produce from their lower jaws. They are able to use these teeth to impale their prey of smaller fish, and after inflicting a serious wound their victim is unable to to escape. The payara can then nibble chunks of their catch, or release it when it's dead and eat it where it lands. As they can grow to a significant size, these fangs can be a hazard to humans and are why they're commonly known as vampire fish. The species is a popular addition to aquariums around the world but is only suited to be kept alongside other aggressive fish that are bigger than them. If any smaller fish are nearby, they'll probably see them as potential prey, and you'll soon find yourself with far fewer fish than you started with. Number 9. Candiru the Kandiru fish is possibly the most frightening fish in the world, and once you hear about them, you definitely won't want to risk wading in the waters of the Amazon where they're found. They are actually a type of parasitic catfish and usually grow in around 7 inches long, although specimens more than double that size have, on occasion, been found. They are translucent, so they can be hard to see in the water, and have barbels around their heads, and backward-facing spines along their body. These spines can be extended out, and this is where the fear of this species comes from. There have been reports of them being able to swim up the human urethra and stick their spines into the surrounding flesh to hold them in place. Verified accounts are very few and far between, but the legends are taken so seriously that locals won't urinate into the water without sufficient protection. Those who are unfortunate enough to suffer from this are faced with a stark choice. Either amputate the affected appendage or hope that the fish will retract its spines before passing out from the pain. What would you do? Number 8. Portuguese Man of War the Portuguese Man of War is one of the most dangerous animals you can find in the ocean, and just one sting from the tentacles is enough to kill a human. They are found across the Atlantic, Indian, and Pacific Oceans, where they float at the surface with their tentacles hanging as far as 33 feet beneath them. Surprisingly, this isn't technically one animal, but a collection of zooids or polyps. Each man o' war can be a colony of hundreds of thousands of individuals that all collectively work together, with some making up the tentacles and others forming the bell. At least 10,000 people are stung by man of wars each year in Australia alone, and at first, it can be hard to know if someone has been stung by one of these or by something less dangerous. They can cause extreme pain, redness, swelling, but can also lead to a shock reaction, cardiovascular issues, and difficulties breathing if the venom reaches certain parts of the body. 
and these symptoms can cause death if the victim is still in the water. You probably don't need to be told, but stay away from these at all costs. Number 7. Goblin Shark Goblin sharks have been living in the oceans for 125 million years, but because they live at such depths, they're rarely ever encountered. And we know very little about them. Thought to usually grow to up to 13 feet long, they are easily recognized by their flat snouts, nail-like teeth, and their pink-colored skin. They are probably the strangest-looking species of shark of all, and could easily be a monster created for a horror movie. They are only found at depths below 330 feet, and are thought to be very slow swimmers. In the environment where they live, speed isn't as important as it is higher up, and they scour the seafloor for crustaceans, squids, and fish. The reason why their snouts are so long is that they contain special electrical receptors that they use to identify and track their prey because they often swim in the darkness. They quietly approach their target from behind and can snap their jaws in a quick motion that gives gives little opportunity for escape. It's lucky they lived beyond where humans can swim, because an attack by one of these would be particularly nasty. Number 6. Blue Ringed Octopus you might look at a blue ringed octopus and think it's a cute creature that you want to pick up, but that would be a terrible idea because these small creatures contain enough venom to kill 26 people in just a matter of minutes. Their toxins are so potent, they are often said to be one of the most deadly creatures in the oceans. To make matters worse, most victims don't even know that they've been bitten because they're so pain-free. It's only when the breathing difficulties and paralysis start to take effect that it becomes clear, and by this point, it's too late. You wouldn't be able to signal to anyone that you're in distress, and if you were still in the water, you'd drown straight away. It's not as if anyone could help even if you were able to tell them, though, because there's no known antivenom, and you wouldn't have enough time to get to a hospital to receive it. Luckily, blue ringed octopuses are not aggressive, and their first response to a perceived threat is to to try and swim away. If they're cornered and feel like they have no other choice, then and only then will they bite and inject a high dose of tetrodotoxin. Number 5. Hairy Frog aka Wolverine Frog There are more than 4,800 known species of frog in the world. In all shapes and colors, most are spectacular, but there are some, like the hairy frog, that sit on the other side of the spectrum. Also known as the Wolverine Frog, they are native to African countries like Cameroon, Gabon, Nigeria, and Equatorial Guinea. Here they live in forests, rivers, and plantations, and would surely make you jump every time you encountered one. They grow to be around 5 inches long and have black spines on their front fingers. The most unusual thing about this species, however, is the development in breeding males of hair-like structures along their sides and thighs. This isn't just an aesthetic feature, but a functional one too, as the hairs contain arteries and significantly increase the surface area through which they can absorb oxygen from water. This is especially important after the females slay their eggs, because the males are the ones who stay with them to protect them. They are known as wolverine frogs because of another weird adaptation, where they have retractable bone claws that can stick through the skin when they're under threat. It's not something they regularly do because it's painful, but when the need arises, this ability can mean the difference between life and death. Number 4. Thorny Dragon Lizard Australia is home to countless animals that aren't found anywhere else in the world. But perhaps one of the strangest is the thorny devil. It's a species of lizard that can grow to around 8 or 9 inches long, and are covered in a series of conical spines. The main function of these are, of course, for defense. But these lizards also have another unique adaptation to help survive. They are brown and tan colors to help camouflage into the desert environment, and they move across the ground in zigzags, occasionally freezing in place to appear more like a piece of vegetation as opposed to a living animal. Finally, they have a large growth on the top of their body beneath the neck, and this serves as a false head. It's made from soft tissue 
and is spiny as well. And when the lizard feels under threat, it'll lower its actual head to expose this one. The intent is that any predator will go. The intent is that any predator will go for this growth, which will detach and then give the lizard a chance to escape. Number three, Gharial. Gharials are one of the longest species of crocodile, growing to up to 20 feet from the tip of their snout to the end of their tail. They are found in northern India and, as a result of fossil evidence, are believed to have been around for at least 5 million years. They are undoubtedly the apex predators and are perfectly adapted for hunting prey. They have long, narrow snouts, with up to 110 sharp teeth ready to tear into the flesh of fish. They have an extremely powerful bite, which has been measured to be the equivalent of 450 pounds per foot and means that once they bite down on a target, there's no chance that it'll survive. Unlike other crocodiles, the males grow an appendage on the end of the snout when they reach sexual maturity, which is known as agara. It covers the nostrils and allows the croc to emit a hissing noise, which they use to attract the mate. In recent years, population numbers have drastically reduced, mainly as a result of habitat changes, such as pollution that's been released into the rivers and hunting which is done to protect livestock and from fear that they're a danger to human communities. Efforts are underway to protect them, but without drastic action, they may not be around for much longer. Number two. Mata Mata Turtle Mata Mata turtles are one of the strangest types of turtles in the world and are a freshwater species native to the Amazon basin. They grow to around 18 inches long and weigh up to 33 pounds and are very sedentary creatures. They only move when they have a need to and usually the only reason is when they are chasing fish to eat. They are suction feeders, so when a meal is in front of them, they raise their heads above the water, open their mouths extremely wide, then suck everything in and eat their prey whole. They have flattened heads with growths all over them and a fleshy horn on their snout. Their shells are also covered in ridges, and this is to help them camouflage into the water where they look to everything else like it's… They have flattened heads with growths all over them, and a fleshy horn on their snout. Their shells are also covered in ridges, and this is to help them camouflage into the water where they look to everything else like they are a piece of floating wood. They have sharp claws on each foot, which help them to hold onto things as they float past, which further helps them to appear like they're a piece of detritus caught in the current. Number 1. Goliath Bird Eater Spider Spiders are one of the most feared animals in the world, and though most species pose no threat to humans, there are some that everyone should be wary of. One of these is the Goliath Bird Eater Spider that's native to the Amazon rainforest, and these creatures are huge. They're the biggest spider in the world. weighing up to half a pound and with a leg span of up to 12 inches. They are a type of tarantula and live in burrows on the rainforest floor. When they emerge at night to hunt for food, you can apparently hear the thudding of their walk as they pass through the forest in search of worms, amphibians, and insects. Despite their name, they are rarely thought to hunt birds, but there have been several documented accounts where they've been seen capturing hummingbirds. They also hunt snakes, lizards, and rodents, and are surprised surprisingly private eaters. Instead of devouring their prey in the open, they drag it back to their burrow where they inject it with toxins to liquefy the internal organs and then suck them dry. Which of these animals did you find to be the creepiest? And would you want to have any as a pet? Make sure to let us know in the comments section. Also check out our other cool stuff showing up on the screen right now. See you next time!